before this video begins i just let you know that i might swear in some of these um images so yeah kids if you if you're under the age of 13 please leave immediately wow i didn't expect myself to make this video but this is an idea by myself so everything is not the same on each river like the Union pacific the national etc so i'm here to talk about each of weird engines steam or diesel from each era so yeah here's a video of me reacting to these weird steam and diesel engines from the design or the paint scheme so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video of me suffering uh what the hell is this i never seen this one in my life before i never Okay, so that's the backstory of this engine. Um, back in 1976, when America was having its 200th birthday, Kansas City Sonic and KCS had a contest held up about a paint scheme they're gonna have for the two SC40s, 616 and 642. And this is where this paint scheme comes in, which a little girl has run. And I'll say, she did well with the creativity. I mean, the colors are pretty nice. Huh. I don't really see pink engines these days. Eh, uh, it's just the same thing happened to 4617, but the cab just stayed as a CSX while the body just stayed the fabric line system. The Golden Girl, or Girls. Pepsi Bull! What did they do to you, my boy? I know this engine is not in the quirky pink scheme, but I just want to talk about it. So this is Union Pacific's um, new paint scheme if you haven't heard, and this is the sheer piece of trash. Brayden! What the hell happened to you? That's a fake cry by the way. For this next one, it's actually inside one of the magazines I got, um, just right before the end of November, and something involved the CNW. So, I'm just going to show it to you right now, and I'll give you my opinion on this one. So, here's the answer. So, from what I read for this magazine, it said that the CNW had rebuilt four former years of E9Bs into EBs at their shops in Iowa. And these are literally crushed four engines that i seen. These are literally uglier than... These are literally uglier than the gen sets. With oh boy, they are literally worse. Yeah. CNW, I don't know what you're doing at this point. I know I like you, but what the hell are you doing? What the fuck? Okay. From what I heard, Microsoft Train Simulator include BSF-9 4723 and in return, BSF decided to add this to the engine and it became noticeable after that and still, the unit is still really its sticker. No, 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 I am done over here. I'm not going to reveal the engine that's a piece of shit. I don't, I don't even care if they hate it, it still needs to burn the house. I still prefer the DLG of the Fairmax paint scheme also. If you guys don't know what Fairmax is, it's a private um, rail um, that is operated but in Mexico, but sometimes in the United States. It's also part of the North American Class 1 railroad. I think the UP new paint scheme is not very really quirky, but I just want to give my opinion on this one. I guess rail fans are right about having these weird patch jobs on railroads. It says it's Union Pacific Dash 9. I don't see what's off about. Okay, what the fuck? You guys know what's called the 2015? Well, the engine got itself to a wreck, and when it's repaired, it looks like this. Yeah. So, you guys don't know what Exxon means on this first school U38B engine. It means extra reliable. I don't know why, but it's actually this one, but I kind of like to talk about this one. But the first school isn't the only one to do this. As a leave of Nashville, it did the same thing to 1499. Hmm, Santa Fe or CSX? I don't see what's up about this P40DC, it's just 
I will give you free DC. Wait. You wait. You wait. Oh! I see this unit has the air wait as my channel name. I hope this is so so sh Oh. So to NG Transit, okay, um... So, what is the engine now? Okay, you know for the CT Rail, okay? Totally not mad at Amtrak for selling this unit to two different railroads. And that's all the units we're gonna talk about today. I will do more in the future, so yeah. Everything really like weird engines, just leave them in the comment below and I'll talk about them. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you later.